And breaking news in the death of a three-year-old girl in Canton. Police have just charged the child's father and his girlfriend for little Haley McHugh's death. It is a tragic turn of events that has left the entire community numb. News Channel 5's Homa Bash has been following this story throughout the evening. She has late-breaking developments from Canton. There are so few details about what happened inside that house that at this point, police officers are still trying to wrap their heads around what they found. You never expect something like this when you get a call. A tiny red piece of crime scene tape seals the home where Ken police and paramedics found a nightmare inside. Three-year-old Haley McHugh dead, her body covered in cuts and bruises. Whether it would have been from hands or from an object, uh, that'll be for the coroner to decide. But. Uh, like I say, there was definitely, uh, I guess you could call it to someone who was beat up. In a horrifying 911 call from Haley's father, Matthew Mickey, just after 11 this morning, he describes the three year old as stiff and not breathing, saying she had fallen down the steps a week ago and died today. Hours later, police charged the 22 year old father with murder and child endangering. His living girlfriend, Jessica Bender, also charged with child endangering. There were things that led us to believe that this had been happening over time, but there was a lot of uh, fresh injuries, too. This photo is from a GoFundMe account started by Haley's grandparents, now paying for an unexpected funeral. I think it's a damn shame. Police tell us the family had just moved into the home on DeWalt Street this month. Neighbors say they hardly saw them. A five-year-old boy who also lived there, now in the custody of Child Protective Services. Why take something out on a child? A child didn't get asked to be brought into the world. The bottom line is a child is innocent. This is the third homicide here this week and the third this year. Police tell us they usually average about eight in a year. In Canton, Homa Bash, News Channel 5. A terrible situation, and police tell us the five-year-old taken from the home did not have any apparent injuries. Matthew McHugh, by the way, is being held on a million dollars bond.